Welcome back. We are going to tour the High Roller Skywheel, which is located in beautiful, sunny Las Vegas. If you have ever been to Vegas, it's nearly impossible to miss this structure. And I'm here to tell you and show you exactly what it's like to actually be on the Skywheel. So stay tuned. This year, me and my family traveled to Las Vegas and one of the many things we did was the Sky Wheel and it was such a big attraction that I couldn't resist it and I want to take you on the Sky Wheel right now to show you exactly what it's all about. Looking at the Sky Wheel from the outside, you'll see that it dwarfs the other building around it. You can see just the base of it almost seems like it's taller than the hotels around it. We're walking towards the Sky Wheel right now, and if you ever come to Vegas, you have to, and I mean have to visit, this area called the Link. It's a long, open promenade type area, which just has stores and restaurants and different things on either side, but it's absolutely awesome place to hang out and just kind of like experience Vegas. So back to the Sky Wheel. There are lots of things in Las Vegas that'll cost you a lot of money. In my opinion, the Sky Wheel isn't one of them. Be prepared to pay about $15 or $20 per person, but the ride is sort of a long ride, and it's a nice, large, air-conditioned booth, and it's a relaxing experience. And I gotta use that word, relaxing experience, because it's not thrilling whatsoever. Um, it's absolutely chill and laid back. Before you get on board the Sky Wheel, there's this bar lounge area. In Las Vegas, just like anywhere else, there's always another opportunity to pick your pocket, but it has also things for the kids to have a little bit of fun, but uh, you know, it does have a little bit of history too about what the Sky Wheel is. Um, and then it has a photo booth area. Trust me, do not take this photo. It's not that it's a bad photo, but you just, you're never gonna put it up in your house, so just don't even put yourself through it. Here's my number one advice to you if you're gonna go on a Skywheel. When we went there, it wasn't quite busy, but they wanna cram as many people in these pods as possible. If for whatever reason you look in front of you and you don't like that group, maybe they're drinking or loud or they're too whatever, do not go into the pod with them because you're gonna be stuck in that pod listening and hearing them for a good half hour. So if you don't wanna go in the pod, stand your ground. Tell them you know, at the entrance, hey look, I don't wanna go on this pod, wait for the other one. They'll, make, they'll, they'll let you wait. So trust me, if you don't like the people in front of you or behind you, definitely don't go in the pod with them. So let's talk about the pods. The pods is quite spacious. You have room to walk around. It has uh, glass all the way around. On the very top, it has uh, computer screens and television screens, and it gives you a 360 degree view of Las Vegas. So it's pretty awesome. There is still more to come, but we have reached a part of this broadcast where I do a shameless plug for my channel. So check it out for fun and interesting things to do in Las Vegas. Most people know going in that this is not a thrill ride. So as you go around, it gets to be awful boring in my opinion. Uh, it wasn't necessarily the, the thing that I love to do. When I got to the top, it was an awesome view, don't get me wrong, the view was spectacular. You're not gonna find a view like this in many other locations in Las Vegas. So I love the view, but you know, getting to that point was just like, come on, hurry up and get there already. The best advice I can give you if you're high energy like I am is be prepared to be bored. The view is spectacular, don't get me wrong. However, it does become kind of normal after a, bit, after a half hour. So uh, if you go there with that expectation in mind, I think you'll be just fine. So to answer your question as far as whether or not it's worth it, I gotta say it depends. If you wanna be entertained, if you want to constantly have like some kind of adrenaline rush, then you're gonna hate this ride. However, if you just wanna, you know, go up there and, you know, take a leisurely, you know, view of the city, then yeah, it's gonna work out to be in your favor. If you're looking for an opportunity to get away from the hustle and the bustle of what is Las Vegas, then this ride for you is gonna be perfect.